Hey everyone, in this short video I will address some of Globeslayer's lies and contradictions. If you don't know who that is, he's a Twitter flirt and was already in two debates, um, one with MC Toon and one with Fight the Flat Earth. If you haven't seen those, I have linked them under this video. Needless to say, he didn't do that well in both, but it's not the debates itself I want to talk about here. Globeslayer, I will call him GS for the rest of the video, made some pretty bold claims about Sly Sparkane, who moderated the debate between MC Toon and GS. GS claimed that Sly insisted, even demanded, that the participants in this debate have to have scripts. This was a lie. Sly posted some snippets of the pre-debate conversation between all three of them, showing that he explicitly said that he personally doesn't like pre-shared topics and prepared rebuttals for debates. He likes it more on the fly. So GS lied here. Obviously. But it didn't stop there. He still claimed that Sly is lying. Sly was at this point on a road trip, he didn't have much time for this shit, so I contacted MC Toon, who was obviously also in this conversation, and asked him to shed some light into that situation, and as an awesome guy he is, he promptly posted the whole pre-debate conversation online for everyone to see. I've linked it also under this video, so everyone can look for themselves. It was GS who wanted to pre-share the topics to the debate. Sly never demanded or insisted on any script. The only time he mentioned one was when he went over what both participants of the debate agreed on and said that this will be understandably the case because of the pre-shared format. Does it sound like he demands a script? I mean, let's be real here, Sly was only moderator, he can't demand anything about the topics or how both participants prepare or not prepare for it. His only job in this debate was to make sure that everyone followed the rules that both participants set up and agreed on before. And that's it. GS was blatantly lying, and I think this tweet here explains why. He was just butthurt that Sly supposedly mocked him for using a script in the debate with MC Toon, so he wanted to turn that around. That's literally it pretty pathetic. Now you may ask yourself why anyone would mock GS for something like that. Well, let me explain. As soon as GS doesn't have a script to follow, he constantly contradicts himself. In other words, GS is the type of guy who shows up with a spoon to a gunfight and proceeds to hit his own head over and over again with it while being totally confident and arrogant that he will win. Let me show you an example. His explanations, plural, for flat earth sunsets. He posted a few pictures that he thinks explain everything, but the problem is they all contradict each other. They just don't make any fucking sense. Let's look at them a bit closer. Sometimes he claims the sun shrinks into a tiny dot, but also posts these ones here that show the sun staying the same size. That already doesn't make any fucking sense. And his explanation for why the sun stays the same size is just absolutely dumb. Absolutely stupid. Sorry, but there's no other word for this level of dumb fuckery. He says it's magnification of the sun due to the water in the atmosphere, which is nonsense. I mean, we have quite a lot of really humid places here on Earth, but I have never seen anyone seeing the surroundings magnified by shipping down the Amazon River, where you would have a relative humidity of 75% in the air. So this explanation is already nonsense. But GS also says, and that's my personal favorite, and the epitome of absolutely brain dead, the dome behind the sun would magically magnify it. Yes, you heard that right, the dome behind the sun magnifies the sun in front of it. I mean, what the fuck, did you ever held your magnifying glass behind an object to magnify it? No, me neither, because that would be pretty dumb. On top of that, none of the memes he uses explains why any of that happens. Not a single one of them goes into detail and if you ask GS about it, all you get is gaslighting. He tells you that you are just too dumb to understand it. But in reality, none of that makes any fucking sense. Why would we see the sun this way? Why or what is that supposed blind spot? No explanations, just memes. When in reality, the sun would never set on a flat earth. It would never get close to the horizon, let alone below it. But that's what we observe. I think you start to understand why GS gets so much shit all the time and I'm just even scratching on the surface of his idiocy here. Because it doesn't stop there, he is of course also dishonest about the things he requests from others. Well, all flurfs are. He made a very specific claim about water and spherical surfaces. Let's read it. I also know that water can bend and distribute evenly over a spherical surface. Following this claim he had a request. 
here you see that too. So I made a short demonstration to that, but credit where credit is due. KC did that demonstration with a glass of water and a rock first. I just picked it up because I actually have a spherical surface here. As you can see, the water is bent and evenly distributed over the spherical surface. Exactly what GS requested, which means that his claim is debunked. But he of course didn't really back down on it. He just tried to move the goalpost. And funny enough, a few other flurfs chimed in and started to move that goalpost around. It ranges from deflections to the material the sphere is made of, to how long the water stays on there until it dries off. None of that was part of the original request. And when I called that out and asked specifically which of the original request criteria were not met, all I got was silence. So nothing new in Flatlandia. The inhabitants are still just liars, grifters and trolls. And with that I'll end this video. Enough ranting about this dumbass. GS is a dishonest prick and deserves every single bit of shit he gets from others. Oh, and before I forget it, what you saw in the background in this video was not a still picture. It was an animation of the Earth's rotation in real time. The full 212 hour videos are linked also under this video. And with that, thanks for watching and bye bye.